Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. So, I've done a few videos today, but um, I haven't done my, um, what do you call it, my tarot spread uh, series that I've been doing. I haven't done that this week. I usually do it on Saturday. Today is Sunday. <clears throat> I did three other videos earlier today. It's been a day of catching up and doing videos. Um, so I thought I would do it. It's uh, almost 8 o'clock. Sun is still out. We are fully entrenched in summer here in Missouri. It is in the 90s every day the last few days, and it is humid, and it is hot. I think we're supposed to hit 103 next week. We'll see. We've been complaining because last month and a half we've had nothing but rain, which is unusual for us, and now it's going to get really hot. So we're going to be wishing for that rain back. <laughs> Um, but I still have my sunglasses. As you can see, the sun is on its way going down. Um, it just hasn't. It probably won't for another hour. But it's in a position now where I can sit out here. And it's cool enough that um, it's not directly on me and I'm dying of heat stroke. So, I got two new decks in the mail. Um, and I did a walkthrough on this one yesterday. Um, or... The other day and then I got this one last week I think um, but I decided to pair them together because they're gonna work wonderful together but I'm gonna do my tarot spread and if you're just tuning in for my tarot spread <clears throat> I do basically a tarot spread with you guys um, I kind of do a quick meditation while I'm on here and I usually do this facing down so this may be the second time I've done this where I'm facing you guys um, and I'm actually doing it. But these cards are huge <laughs> cards. Um, that's the palm of my hand and it's like, yeah, it takes over. Um, but it's a gorgeous deck and I, was, I don't have a book for this one. I do have a little bit of book with a little bit of meanings in it. But um, I usually <clears throat> will do a quick medita medita meditation. And then I pull the cards for the, whatever spread I've picked. Um, and then I go over it intuitively. And then we go to the book and see what the book has to say. And I might go ahead and pull an Oracle card on top of it with this. Just because I really haven't actually used them together yet. So I'm really anxious to see what the messages would be when they work together. So the uh, I found this on Pinterest. It is a before bed tarot spread, if you can see on there, um, and there's four cards. So the first one is, what lesson did I learn today? Number two is, how can I release my remaining stress, tension from the day? Three is a blessing in my life, and four, what should I be thinking about as I drift off to sleep? So I usually do this later, and I do a different one. This is the first one I found that has more than three cards. So. I'm going to kind of do a quick meditation and do it with you guys, if you don't mind. So bear with me just a moment. I'm going to let all the breath out and just kind of breathe. Get grounded. So, we are going to um, pull for card one, and they're so large, usually I do it this way, but I can barely get my hands around that, so I'm doing them this way this time as a shuffle. So, what lesson did I learn today? Can you tell me what lesson I learned today? And that was trying to pop out already. So, I put that down here for card one. Card two, how can I release any remaining stress or tension from the day? Wow, they're flying out. So that's two. Three, a blessing in my life. What is a blessing in my life? What is a blessing in my life? 
Oh wow, that one flipped over. That's a beautiful card. I saw it. I saw it. Four, what should I be thinking about as I drift off to sleep? Wow, they're just flying out. Fly out. So that's four. Okay, so let's put the deck over here. So card one is what lesson did I learn today? <laughs> and it's the hermit. Um, and I think that's hilarious. First of all, that is a gorgeous hermit card. I have gnats, flies. It's that time of year. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that really good. If there's a reflection or a glare. But um, all weekend, I am essentially a hermit. Someone who would rather sit at home and do nothing all weekend. And just be in my home doing like either housework or videos or writing or whatever. Uh, but this weekend, I've actually really taken the initiative. Uh, yesterday, I went out with my sister-in-law. Um, there's a whole bunch of yard sales in the area. We went to a bunch of yard sales. Um, it kind of felt like a normal pre-pandemic day because they lifted the ban on masks like two months ago here. Uh, a, a lot of people, most people have been vaccinated. I haven't because <clears throat> I'm still questioning things, but um, because I have some underlying conditions as well that I'm just afraid. I'm just, it's just a fear thing. And I will probably eventually get vaccinated, but um, I haven't as of yet. But everybody I come in contact with has. So I feel safer now than I did this time of last year. Um, and so I'm coming, kind of took the initiative and came out of this hermit mode that I was in, that I'm always in um, this weekend, and really just made myself go out and, and see the world and be part of it and, and do things. So I find that very interesting that that is the card that popped up. Um, so for the question, what lesson did I learn today is basically for me, it's not always beneficial to be a hermit. Sometimes you need to be around other people, um, is what I'm getting out of that. Even though that's a, a stunning hermit card, it's not, all, it's not always beneficial to be in, in alone in your beautiful surrounding there. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I get from that. Now two. How can I release any remaining stress or tension from the day? I got the devil card. Quite beautiful also. But for how can I release tension and or stress? I would just say, like I did in my um, week ahead spread video, kind of let go. Um, let go of preconceived notions. Let go of the demons that plague your, your mind. Um, just let go. Um, let go of um, your expectations because it's not always as it, as it seems. And yeah, that's totally what I'm getting from that. Let go of the ties that bind. Uh, three, what is a blessing in my life? That's the card I saw. That is the sun card. That is one of the most beautiful sun cards I've ever seen in my life. Um, and just the simple fact that I was able to wake up this morning and see a sunrise is is the answer to that question, uh, that card, uh, that prompt a blessing in my life. is just the fact that I was able to get up this morning and witness such beauty is, is a blessing all in itself. Never mind the fact that I have a loving husband, I have healthy children, um, especially in these times. Um, they're just... That one simple thing is a blessing, but there's many, many more that we take for granted every day. So I love that that's the card that came up for that. That's beautiful. Okay. So for question four, what should I be thinking about as I drift off to sleep? And I got the Ace of Swords. And for some reason, I thought of the Bone Stone Hero in Earthless Hero when I saw this because the, the Ace of Swords in that deck is a feather pen. And I always hear when I see that card, the, the pen is mightier than the sword. Um, and I kind of get that vibe with this card as well that um, you can, uh, what should I be thinking about? So I drift off to sleep. Um, 
you don't always have to be in fighting mode. You can lay your sword down and take a break. Um, and that's really what I'm getting here is um, lay down your sword. Don't st stop fighting. Stop fighting yourself um, in your mind. And this is a card of the mind. And so I think the biggest um, takeaway from this specific card is... Um, and I just had it, and now it's gone out of my head. The mind. It's about the mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's why I don't do these videos that often face seeing you, because I forget. Because I didn't write it down, because I just did the thing. Uh, I don't know. Our mind is can run away 10,000 miles away from where it needs to be. And uh, let me read the question again. What should I be thinking about as I drift off to sleep? Just, it's not, a, yeah, I'm still getting the, the whole not fight thing, like, stop fighting, stop fighting yourself. Um, just roll with it. Just roll with, you know, what's supposed to be happening and stop fighting it so much is what I get from that. So let's look at the, and it's kind of hard to read, um, but I'm going to do my best to see what the book uh, says on this specific card or these cards so the hermit still stunning prudence circumspection also and especially treason dissimulate dissimulation I don't even know that rogarix I don't know the word is and corruption um, so it should, just gives you keywords for each card, um, the positive and the negative aspect of it. So that's what, and I love the fairy lights in here, if you're noticing, if you can see it. And then I love how a lot of the cards have this far away, foggy background, so you can really um, close in on what you're supposed to be seeing, which is her um, and the lantern. And of course, I love any deck that strays from traditional sexes in the in the card like this is a male um i love that it's a female and i love that she's in this woodland gorgeous area i would live there totally totally be hermit like, never want, want to leave ever so we have the devil Let's see what it says ravage violence vehemence, extraordinary efforts force fatality that which is pre predestined but is not for this reason evil evil fatality weakness pettiness blindness hmm. blindness so it could be what's going on with this what was that question for that card to you how can i release my remaining stress tension from the day stop maybe pretending to be blind to things that i'm aware of hmm hmm and then we have the sun, and I just realized there was three of the four cards. There was three majors <laughs> in this. In this, there's only four cards, and there's three majors. So that's crazy. We have. So I can find the sun. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous card. The sun. Something about happiness, fortunate marriage, contentment, the same in a lesser tense. That's it. There's one word before that, but I can't read it at all. But that is a gorgeous card. So then we have the Ace of Swords. There is all these flies all of a sudden. I like the glossy pages, but they could, should have picked a different color, I would say. It's just hard to read it, some of them, sometimes. Ace of Swords. Triumph. The excessive, the excessive degree in everything. Combust. Triumph of Force. It is a card of great force in love as well as in hatred. The crown may carry a much higher significance than cones 
usually when the sphere of fortune telling same but the results are disastrous another account says conception childbirth augmentation and multiplicity that's weird just weird but that's a gorgeous card as well this whole deck is gorgeous so let's pull a oracle card and see if we can get a clarifier on these just to see what it says and how well it pairs together see how well it pairs okay so and these are typical oracle size they're published by hay house uh yep yeah, hay house um this is a mass market deck versus this one is a published by Toronto Studios in 2017 um, this was a limited edition which I just got it so it's still limited edition but um, I got it on Etsy from Toronto Studios so you can get it on Toronto Studios and I'll post the links from those two below uh, when I do the video so what can you tell me overall about the spread, the night, the bedtime spread I just did? Oh my gosh dragonfly spirit and change if that wow that I think when it goes quite well with the week ahead spread I did earlier with the Meraki tarot um, this is my favorite card in here just because it's dragonflies uh, when I first started my spiritual journey um, I hadn't really I've lived in Missouri for over 20 years had never really seen dragonflies in this area um ever because it's usually so hot in the summertime and i was just telling a friend right after like literally maybe two weeks after i started my spiritual journey i was telling a friend of mine i never see dragonflies here ever i've lived here for like 20 years never seen a dragonfly and the second i said that right where i'm sitting right now about 30 dragonfly flew over did a circle and then land settled in the tree across the street and then for like two weeks straight every day I would have a dragonfly on my windshield um, when I was on my way to work and then every day it would set and hover at the window of my car when I was sitting in it um, and I'm like that's crazy um, and ever since then I'm like and I love dragonflies ever since I was a kid I was like 12 or 13 when I went um, to see my dad for the summer in Florida and he took me to the Everglades and it's just covered in swarms of just gorgeous dragonfly that are all different colors iridescent purple iridescent pinks greens teals grays blacks it was just stunning um better than seeing the crocodiles in the everglades that was the thing that stuck in my mind all these gorgeous dragonflies just swarms of them everywhere um and i love that so let's see what the book says curious because i haven't read this book at all yet not really so it's number 12 dragonflies dragonfly spirit and change you watch their dragonfly whisk across the surface of the forest pond with elegance and grace her iridescent wings and body shine in a kaleidoscope of colors depending on how the light falls on her she hovers flies backward and even darts upside down with seeming delight this card is letting you know that it's all right to change directions. It's okay to change your mind. You do not need to be consistent at every turn. This is the time to put the traditions and expectations of others aside. Instead, you are called to create your own traditions. You are free to express yourself and let your spirit fly. Dragonflies are acrobats of the sky. Not only can they fly backward, they fly upside down and turn 360 degrees. And while looking graceful as they do so, Dragonfly Spirit urges you to take on her, her, to take on her same fearless daring. 
go beyond predictable behavior. Just because something has always been done a certain way doesn't mean that it needs to continue to be done that way. Hmm. While you can't control the ex exact circumstances of your life, you can control what meaning you give to them. Love that. Select meanings that empower you, for this is the time to be carefree, wild, and unpredictable. Dragonflies are ancient, taking to the skies 300 to 350 million years ago. They have adapted throughout millennia and thus survived when many creatures have not. These masters of change are a reminder that change will heal you. Oh my god, that's like, what? What is happening? <sighs> the spirit of Dragonfly says, be willing to change your perspective. And good fortune will follow. Sometimes you need to back up to go forward. As people get older, they find it harder to change. So to activate usefulness, be willing to make changes without hesitation. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, and I think that goes really well with the spread I just did. That's crazy. Um, yeah. That is from the, and I love this deck. Love it already. Love, love, love. Love both of these decks, honestly. They're gorgeous. <sighs> They're going to work well together. Actually, let me take this apart and just see. Actually, I'll... Let me see what that... Let me go back here. I'm going to take this out. And take these four. And just show you all together. They are just... Absolutely stunning together. I did have it right side up. Oh my gosh. Stunning together. Right? It is gorgeous. So, even the backs, like, this is the, the tarot. It's all fairy lights and stuff, and then this is the oracle. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Maybe I'll do a comparison kind of walkthrough of both of them. I mean, I've done walkthroughs of both of them, but just have them side by side in a walkthrough. That'd be cool. Even though... One's an Oracle deck and one's not. But, yeah, that is the spread for today. That was crazy and cool. And that's the inside of the Oracle box. It says, enter a secret dimension to discover the truth of your soul. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. And so is this one. I mean, just, they're stunning. And they go beautifully together. So, that was my this week's tarot spread. If you guys uh, have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. I always want to hear from everybody. Um, this I got off of Pinterest. Um, all you got to do is look up Before Bed Tarot Spread. Um, and I will post the links where you can get both of these decks down below if you decide that you want them. Mosquitoes now. Um, I wonder when they were going to show up. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And you guys have a great afternoon. Bye.